Before we begin this animation on how to store grains and legumes safely using PIX bags, a brief reminder on the COVID-19 pandemic and simple steps you can take to limit the spread of the coronavirus. Whenever outside your home or with others not a part of your family, properly wear a clean, snugly fitted mask at all times. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not available, use hand sanitizer. Keep a physical distance of two meters between yourself and others not in your household or by the distance recommended by your local authorities. And get a COVID-19 vaccine as recommended by healthcare professionals as soon as it is available to you. Now we will tell you how to store grains and legumes safely using PIX bags. Properly storing dried grains and legumes minimizes post-harvest loss. You can store maize, rice, beans, lentils, and many other grains in what are called PIX bags. When storing dried grains and legumes, you can avoid insect pests and mold growth by sealing them in PIX bags, an airtight triple bagging system developed in the U.S. by Purdue University. PIX bags use no chemicals and will protect your grains because they use the right type of plastic and are thick enough to make them airtight. PIX bags consist of two inner bags fitted inside an outer woven bag. Using these airtight bags, you can safely store grains and legumes for many months, providing safe food for your family, seeds for future planting, and grain to sell if you choose. Use PIX bags with four steps, inspect, fill, seal, and store. First, inspect your grain to make sure it is well dried by the sun and free from pests, dirt, and pebbles. Separate and inspect all three layers of the PIX bags for any rips, tears, or holes. Even small holes allow for insect and mold damage. Fill each of the two inner poly bags with air and hold the opened end to make sure no air escapes. Make sure the bags are dry and clean. Do not use if either of the inner poly bags are torn or wet. To fill your bags, first place a small amount of grain in the first poly bag. Then insert the first poly bag into the second poly bag and insert both into the outer woven bag. Continue to fill the inside bag while shaking side to side a bit to pack the grain and get rid of any trapped air. Do not fill the bag to the top. Save room so that you can seal the bags. Seal the first poly bag by twisting it until tight against the grain, pressing out any air, then tying it tight with a string. Remember, you need to get out as much air as possible and be sure the bag is tied as tightly as possible. This is especially true with small grains like lentils. Seal the second poly bag the same way by twisting the top until tight against the inner poly bag, then tying it tight with a string. Be sure the bag is tied as tightly as possible. Seal the outer woven bag the same way as the poly bags by twisting the top of the outer woven bag until it is tight against the poly bags, then tying it tight with a string. Be sure the bag is tied as tightly as possible. Do not store the bag in direct sunlight Keep storage area clean to avoid rodents. Do not store it against a wall. It is best not to open bags during storage. If you must open your stored PIX bag for any reason, be sure to quickly reseal the bags following the same steps 
to reduce exposure to the air. Be sure each of the three bags are tied as tightly as possible. On average, the bags can last more than one season, normally for three storage cycles. However, it is important that the bags be completely free of any holes if you use them again, so inspect them very carefully. When you are no longer able to use PIX bags for grain storage because of tears or holes, you should use them for other purposes. Using PIX bags to store your grain keeps it safe from insects and mold growth, so you can sell the grain at a higher price when there is less grain available at the market. PIX bags allow you to store your grain without using pesticides. That saves you money and is safer to eat.